everyone my name is Deidreen Anderson and if you're new here welcome I publish adult contemporary romance under two different pen names I publish under Deidreen Anderson for romances with black women and the men who love them and I publish under Sky Winter for fun short steamy romances so if either of those are your jam then go ahead and Subscribe to my channel because I talk about all things love and romance here. So if you love love, then welcome. <laughs> um, this also will be a very short video. It is um, an update. You are with me on my bed with my apple. So hopefully you're not shaking too much. Um, and hopefully you're not tilted. It's, it, you seem slant, but I'm not sure it could just be me. But this will be an update, um, sort of a life update and a nano update. So let's start with life because things are finally looking up there. So let's start with life. Um, as y'all know, I've been sick since the first week in October. I am finally starting to feel more like myself and I'm not as weak anymore. Um, for the past three days I haven't been as weak and I've been able to move around I sat at my desk yesterday which if y'all are in the the back end of my life y'all know <laughs> back end if y'all talk to me on a personal basis y'all know I've been working from my bed right my bed has been my office for the past four or five weeks but I was able to sit at my table yesterday and, and that was amazing so yeah um, I'm happy about that. I won't go into a full story of what happened, but long story short, there was a misdiagnosis that put me on some pills I should not have been on. And those pills knocked me out. So that was the whole reason, the, the highest reason for somebody just misread my blood results, said thought I had one illness when I didn't and put me on a bunch of pills that I was not supposed to be on. And these were strong pills, y'all. I was loopy for most of the time. My brain was foggy, I could not think. And so yeah, I found that out on Thursday. And since then, I've done a bunch of tests, a bunch of scans. Luckily, everything looks good so far. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do there yet. I'm still considering it. But the good thing is, I'm starting to feel more like myself. I um I'm able to write and that's that's all I care about which is <laughs> is a little bit um I don't know if that's shallow or not but I I feel good I'm able to write and I'm trying to just cling on to the positives because so many other things in my life are going wrong so I cling to the positives and I run with it so yeah that happened and each day I get up and I feel better and a little bit more, a little bit better and a better and better and I just smile because a few weeks ago, last week, hell, I couldn't move around. I couldn't sit, I couldn't sit like this. I would have to lie down and so, or lie down shortly after. So, hey, give thanks to small mercies. <laughs> All right, and now to NaNoWriMo. Um, oh, before NaNoWriMo, one more um, update is for my cover design business. I am diligently working on some pre-mades and my lovely friends on the Otter Tubes reminded me in Tiffy's stream on Saturday that you can sell directly on Kofi. So I'm working on some pre-made covers. Yes, I do design pre-made covers if um, you guys weren't aware. Um, my company is called Diverse Book Covers and I design primarily romance covers right now but I will be branching into other genres and I do do customs too so I will try to put some of the covers I've made for clients in the past on my Kofi so people can actually see right now my Kofi is just there I haven't been sure what to do with it so I think I'm gonna turn my Kofi into my cover my book cover space or my bookish cover space and I don't know let's see what we end up with over there <laughs> but um so we will I'll do that and I'll add the pre-made covers that I designed up there so if you guys are interested 
in grabbing some book covers if you need book covers if they're they're virtually inexpensive honestly the covers will just run you about thirty dollars some maybe 35 depending on where i get the stock images from and the cost of the stock images they may be a little bit higher but for the majority of them it's like 30 35 dollars um for each for each um, type of cover, format of cover. So it'll be $30 for an ebook cover. If you need a paperback added, it will be an additional $30. Um, same thing for the hardcover. And the audiobook cover is a little bit easier to design if you've already had the ebook cover designed. So the audiobook cover will be $20 to add that on. So yeah, I'll explain everything on the Kobe store. And so you guys can check that out there if you're looking for covers. It's not yet launched. So I, I'm still doing the pre-mains right now. But as soon as I get that launched, I will do an announcement either via video or on my community tab or on someone's live streams because I'll be on those too. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that. The Oh, I finally have Sky Winter's website launched. That's my pen name. So I will drop the link down below in the description box if you guys want to check that out. Let me know what you think about the website. It's pretty simple, but hey, it does the job. And I finally have a website up after releasing the first, the full series of the first. <laughs> Sky's first full series is released. Five whole books are up under Sky. And the website is just being launched. But hey, I've been sick. So... I should give myself grace, right? I keep telling people that. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's live. Yay. All right, now the final thing we're going to talk about, because, oh, it's been over six minutes. I'm doing good, and I'm still feeling good. I'm still feeling strong, and I've been sitting up. So, hey, see, I'm getting better. Yay. <laughs> um. So, yeah, NaNoWriMo. So how's my Nano been going? Let's see, on November 1st, I wrote 4,012 words, started off strong, I was happy about that. So of course I logged my 1,666 words and I banked the rest, right? <laughs> on November 2nd, I wrote 4,996 words and I was like, yep, I'm on a roll. Again, I banked, 1, 6, I banked the rest and logged 1,667 words. Take a bite of my apple for this one. November 3rd. <laughs> Fourth. What day is today? The 6th? So I haven't written anything since the 2nd. I haven't written on the... I did a write on the 3rd. I didn't write on the 4th. Today is the 6th. I've written 300 and something words on Morgan's stream earlier right for the six and then i had to do some school stuff so i haven't written anything since that i think i wrote like 376 words i don't remember for today so i am out of words that i had banked <laughs> and i've only written the 376 but hey the day is not over yet i still have until midnight so it's going okay i guess i'm not behind i'm just not ahead and i would love to remain ahead so I'm going to see what I can get done, what I can get written today. I'll jump into my friend's streams um, all this week and see what I can write and we'll get ahead, you know, because NaNoWriMo tends to go downhill for me in the last half of the month. So I like to bank words and save them so that I have words banked, okay? So we're going to get right on that. I have a lot of things doing for NaNoWriMo, but um, Des from copy reading writing she shared her schedule that she's she's going to be using for NaNoWriMo with us and I love it because I'm doing a similar amount of projects so I'm like let's do that yes please yes please so I'm gonna be working on Desi's schedule trying to do one uh, work on one story in the weekend and about two or three back and forth in the week because I'm a Nana Rebel. I'm always a Nana Rebel. I'm because I'm doing shorts right so I'm working on multiple different projects um but yeah that's all i think i have for you i sat and spoke to you guys for nine minutes something i'm proud of myself for that um the last video as y'all saw it, i couldn't even make it through the end i had to lie down <laughs> so i'm happy about that i do need to go right i think i may even go comb my hair 
Yeah, you know you get the toque today because it was either the toque or an afro and ain't nobody want to see that afro. So, so um, I'm going to say bye here. Again, if you like the content that I put out, if you like these videos, oh, one more thing, let me know below. We did have a series called Tropey Wednesdays where I was going through like the romance tropes. I have a list of, I think, um, I don't remember if it was 70 something or 60 something tropes on the list and I think we've gotten through 50 something of the tropes. I, that playlist as well, I'll link below if you weren't aware, but yeah, we've been going through that like four or five a week. I could pick that back up. I maybe won't do a whole four or five because I'm still um, on the mend and I, it's NaNoWriMo and you know we need to get those words written. So, but I could pick it up back and do like three each week until we get through the list and then maybe jump into another genre um, or subgenre and try to get the tropes for that as well. So, like paranormal romans have some tropes that we wouldn't be talking about in, in contemporary romans. So let me know. Let me know if you'd even like me to rehash that series or if what your thoughts are right just let me know in the comments below and of course i do read your comments i'll take everything you suggest into consideration so don't be afraid to drop it below again that's it for today my name is Deidre anderson i write adult contemporary romance under two pen names Deidre anderson and sky winter so all the links for those will be down below so check them out if you're looking for some romance whether a short read that you can read in like an hour or an hour and a half or a full length so check that out, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload. And until I see you again, save your work, stay hydrated, move around and be blessed. <laughs> Bye guys.